All right. So, so we're ready to start. Um, so time, you'll start the timer. I'm going to click restart mission. And as soon as the, as soon as the loading screen ends and the black screen comes up, that is when you'll start the timer. Just making sure audio is okay. The game will get louder. This is just like the menuing. Just making sure like everything's all right before we start. Audio is good. Okay. So like I said, as soon as uh the black uh the black uh, screen comes up after this loading screen, we're gonna start the timer. So time will start now. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is a this is technically part of the first person block, but uh, we're not gonna play in first person because I do not know. Right, I do know how to play first person. I just don't like playing first person. So I just actually hit a two to four frame trick called infinite sprinting. And uh, what I did was, you see my stamina bar in the bottom left, when it runs out, I can hold the roll key and it will give me an infinite sprint. So I can, it, that's our main movement method in the game. Especially as a this uh, sniper class, they actually have the fastest base movement speed. So we will want to use him infinite sprinting to get places fastest and now we're going to there's not really any sequence breaks in this game oh that was my fault i shot too early no real like big sequence breaks we just do all the objectives as fast as we can there are some kind of little breaks like we'll do that we'll switch to the hero so it's a star wars game you can play as the heroes the jedi or the sith so we want to play as them as much as we can because, you know, they, they sprint really fast and stuff. So, we're just going to capture this command post. There's a lot of capturing command posts. And this is not what we want to happen because um, the, if an enemy is on the command post, we stop capturing it. And obviously that's slow. It's just like a game of keep away. So we're going to jump over here. I'm going to try to get a optimized destroying. Oh, and we missed it. It's called Stinger Saber. You like destroy it in like two swipes. It's fast. Oh, that's good. Uh, so infinite sprinting. Besides doing the two frame, where you press it as soon as the stamina bar runs out, you can also pop yourself off the ground and hold the roll key, and that will also give you infinite sprint. And I just got it there. That was a. It's an easier way of getting it. Because you don't really have to be precise with it. So that was a pretty fast Mygeo. So we're going to skip the space level, go straight to the next uh, like story level, Felucia, or the next required level. And in the beginning here, we're going to place mines in very specific locations. Because the first objective, we have to kill Akle, which are these big, scary monsters. You'll, you'll see them in a second. And so these mines are placed in specific spots to kill the Acklays as soon as we can because they're uh, one that the mines are one shots. So I should kill him. Nice. I'm going to rocket this guy to death. Reload. Try to get two and one here. Very nice. Poggers, my doggers. All right. So unfortunately, this game does have a lot of downtime. We're pretty much going to sit here for two minutes. These are what we call the auto scrollers in the community. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty bland. It does give me time to talk about strats and stuff, which is cool, I guess. But other than that, it's pretty resonant sleeper. So um, this is any percent with bonuses. The way this game works is when you're playing a match offline, um, and you Let's say you get like seven kills with a uh, blaster. You will get um, you'll get an award, and that will give you an award weapon, which is a more powerful uh, blaster. So uh, the game tracks how much you get these awards, and if you get them, I believe 64 times, you'll get a legendary status for that award, 
and that means every time you uh, start any game like Galactic Conquest or the campaign, you will get that weapon out of spawn, like I had the award shotgun, without having to do the award uh, requirements. Whoops. So, um, yeah. So, with bonuses, we get to use those, and it's the best category for this game. There is no bonuses, but that wouldn't. that's not very fun to run. You're very weak. You don't have, like, the increased health, increased damage. It's very slow. And not marathon safe. And the auto-scrollers are bad. In fact, the next level is going to be, like, all auto-scrollers for, like, ten minutes. It's a terrible level, but the cool thing is we get to do these kind of strats here where we, like, set up for the next objective, which is cool to me. So... Uh, I won't go for that. I was gonna try to get an infinite sprint before and like hold it on this uh, this broken ship part right here, but that's kind of a risky thing to do. So we're just gonna run back here, and then after we do that, we're gonna switch to the hero and one more objective in this level. We have to get these. We're gonna try to like use the uh, the last part of the animation to like cut back around. Like we we attack we attack head first and we like swing around with the last frame or like, the last parts of the animation to uh, destroy it quicker. Oh, that's too early. Um. So yeah. Um. Doing doing this or er, respawning or killing yourself. Uh, after, uh, before the mission ends, we'll make the victory logo pop up faster. So that's what we want to do as much as we can. And this is everyone's least favorite level in the entire game, because it is about, I believe, eight minutes straight of just pure auto score. So, um, I was going to talk about something. But I don't really remember what it was. I don't know, we'll see. So we're not really gonna do much here. We just have to defend this command post, so we just kill people, and that does it pretty much. It's this is very, very frustrating level. There's actually it's funny, uh one of the members of the community, Laco three thousand, he's a very good runner of this game. He holds world records in almost every category. But um he actually made a mod that removed every auto scroller from the game by setting it them all to one second instead of whatever time they were originally. So it's actually it's actually pretty fun to run that because this level goes by really fast. <laughs> I remember about Midwest speed fest is how slow it was. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're skipping all the cutscenes. An eight minute auto score in an hour run. Yeah. It's it's kinda it's kinda brutal. Although I was actually gonna talk about this, so I set the estimate to an hour. Now, usually you'll see most of the higher times will be or like the better times will be like low fifty to even like the Ford high forties. So me wonder why I did an hour. Oop, that's not good. Uh, that's because, uh, the actual, most of the community times, or the community times with load removal, and there's actually, like, uh, some, some, uh, there's actually some live split, like, uh, scripts that remove the load times automatically, but that's the way, so consoles and PC can have the same advantage, or have the same, like, or can be fair. So people can actually run on console in this game without being at a disadvantage completely. So that is the main reason why they do that. Also, it's just more convenient, I guess. It makes your times look better. <laughs> but this wrench just will clock in under an hour. As long as I don't make any terribly big mistakes. Like giving up this command post, which shouldn't happen. Yeah, it shouldn't happen at this rate. 
In fact, we should actually go ahead and set up for the next objective. Yeah, they'll they'll turn it neutral, but they won't be able to capture it in eight seconds, so we're good. If the command post is neutral and the objective isn't finished, then we'll still be good. Yeah. And if that wasn't enough, how about four more minutes of doing nothing? So we're just gonna kind of hang out behind here, defending the oil refinery. The most difficult task in the game, because everyone is the whole the whole the whole droid army is just gonna come barraging through here, obviously. No, but really, we kind of just like put this right here, and then just like we can just like repair it, and they they won't they can't like walk. They just they just like keep walking into the tank. The seawall comes down a lot, but you can just repair it. So it's nothing too big. So we're just gonna gun down some droids for a few minutes. This is the this is the level with the least action in the game. Although we are shooting a lot, we aren't really doing much anything cool. There are some cooler levels later on. Like even the next level is like pretty fast paced and cool. This one's just a drag. This level is infamous for just being so boring. Yeah, see, they're all like kind of crowding up around the door. Because the tank just blocks them from walking in. Although it looks like it, it looks like it wouldn't, but it actually does. The hitbox is kind of weird. So the award weapons just really do more damage. Some of them have unique effects, like the sniper rifle. The award sniper rifle, it's more like a beam than a sniper bullet. So it kind of, I guess that makes it do, do more damage. The award shotgun just is way more powerful than a normal one. As you can see, I'm one-shotting with ease. The award pistol is really the only award weapon we absolutely need because it's, it's just really strong. It is insanely overpowered. It basically, it can, a critical hit will one-shot pretty much anything. Or two-shot. And it fires really fast, so it's, it's pretty broken. It's like having a hero's weapon just with, just like, as an infantry unit, and it's pretty ridiculous. So they're trying everything they can to get through here, but they're just not going to do it. So, uh, anyone in chat, um, this would be a good time to just do some, like, do some fun facts, I guess. Uh, name your favorite Star Wars movie in, in chat, if you would like. If you'd prefer not to say, then that is... That is fine, I I guess. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to repair that. In about a minute left. We can leave, and even if they do destroy the sea wall or whatever, it won't matter. They won't really. They won't be able to. Uh, they won't be able to destroy the oil refinery. So we're just gonna leave. We're gonna set up and get this next command post. If you have, you don't remember. Episode 4 is Battlefront. <laughs> Your favorite is Battlefront. <laughs> Dude, Battlefront might be my favorite Star Wars movie as well. This game, it, it takes story elements or like areas or settings or whatever from, uh, I guess, all of the prequels and uh, original trilogy. Well, by that I mean mainly Episode 3 through Episode like 4 and 5. With some extra things added here and there. So yeah, they shouldn't be able to destroy it. And we don't capture this immediately because it's it's more of a safe strat that I'm putting in place here for the marathon. Because if I don't, or if I do capture it, then there's a chance that the enemy could come back and recapture it. And I don't want that to happen for the marathon. Uh, because then that would lose like 30 seconds and it's just a pain in the neck. So we're just going to go ahead and not do that. So Yoda's pretty fast. Obviously, that's why we're playing as him right now. I'm um, just gonna capture some command posts, and the mission's over. Finally, the, the best mission in all of Battlefront history will be over. I'm kind of sad, honestly. 
I really wish this went on for longer. AI yeah, in this game is very dumb, as you can see. <laughs> Although there are some scary AI. There are some scary like classes to go up against. I'll be highlighting some of those later, especially when we get into the Galactic Civil War era. Um, there's a lot of one-shotters, and we don't like the one-shotters because you can do literally nothing wrong with your movement and your positioning, and then you just kind of get one-shotted. And uh, that's that's something you may have figured. A lot of the games that have been uh, that have been run in this first-person shooter block, or in the first-person shooter block, were kind of boiling down to RNG on the enemy like AI and uh, whatnot, and this is uh, this game is no exception. This game has some very heavy RNG elements, especially when you're grinding for good times and you have to do some risky strats. So yeah, it's needless to say, it's quite brutal grinding for good times in this game. But when you do get it, it's pretty satisfying. We run pretty good pace right now, so I don't know. I may have to retime this after and see what it is without loads. So yeah. All right, that's Kashyyyk though. Finally. Poggers for Kashyyyk ending. Good grief. And now we have Udapal. If I get a good spawn, I can show you the strat I actually found like last week. It saves like maybe barely a second, but it's, it looks cool. Alright, I got a decent spawn, I can show it off. So we have to get to another command post, whoop de doo. But um, we can actually use a strat here where we. And the audio is really weird right now. It's like. Guns are. Okay, I hope that fixes it in the next level, that's really weird. <laughs> the guns aren't making any sound. I've never heard this. I've never had this happen before. Maybe casually, but I haven't had it happen in a run before. That's weird. Um. Anyway. So yeah, you like jump on those rocks and you can get up here a little bit faster than uh, just running around and up the stairs. Okay. Oh, didn't get the infinite. Didn't get. I didn't get the infinite set up either. <laughs> Whoops, that's that's okay. Infinite infinite sprints, they are very good to get, obviously, but it's not like the end of the world if you miss it. It only really they only can save like maybe five seconds or so around there. <laughs> yeah, they're all using silencers on their guns now. They were uh, their guns were remodeled to include these. Galactic Conquest speedruns have not actually done any uh, Galactic Conquest or Conquest speedruns. I've heard, I don't know, I don't know how those are. I have I've only watched like a Conquest speedrun, which is just going through every map and doing Conquest and instant action. And I don't know, it, it, it is obviously, it's probably a lot of RNG involved in that, which if that's your cup of tea, then go ahead. Oh god, this is actually bad. I could die here. So, high Grievous, by Grievous, you know, that kind of thing. I'm gonna get more health from these enemies really quick, just to be safe. That is easily my favorite part of the run, is just kind of killing Grievous really fast. Okay, I have to get out of here really fast. Okay, that's bad. Okay, we're good, we're good, we won't die. That is the fastest way to kill Grievous, is just force pushing him off. I used to do that as a kid, because it was really funny to me. And that is, uh... That's, yeah. Nice skirt you're wearing, yeah. The, the clone trooper uh, snipers all wear skirts. Yeah, that was a great boss battle. Battle with Grievous. Okay. That was a good Udapa. This is a very good pace run so far. I'd say. Okay. And now this level can actually be quite bad. I feel like we're having the same issue. Not hearing guns isn't going to be the end of the world. In fact, it really doesn't matter at all. But, you know, it's all good. So this level has Jedi. This is like Order 66. We're trying to destroy or kill all the Jedi. I'm trying to throw a grenade there to get a good kill. Alright, we got a nice chain. Yeah, the guns aren't making noise anymore. <laughs> it's like, I, I hate how every time I run into Marathon, something weird happens in my game. But, um, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Because, like, 
You'd be hearing the same gun it regardless. Oh, that's bad. I didn't realize he was contesting. Okay. So yeah, what you want to do is just run straight into this room and then throw that grenade down on the floor. Nine times out of ten, all the Jedi will run into it and die. And that's what you want to happen. Sometimes they'll dodge it. Sometimes other Jedi will walk in. Jedi are kind of scary in this level because they can pretty much stun lock you and kill you. Pretty much in one fellow swoop. You don't want that to happen. Now we have to just stop them from destroying... Oh, this is actually bad because I kind of can't hear wh where they're at from their saber swinging noises now so i have to like actually be observant and i'm bad at being observant but we're looking all right so far we killed all the jedi and they're causing issues there's they sometimes they just kind of stand up there and don't do anything which is actually fine but i'll kill them anyway there's another auto scorer kind of we just have to wait whenever the timer on the right reaches a minute uh another wave of jedi spawns we have to make sure we kill all of them before we leave and set up for the next objective because if we leave them un unmonitored they will easily destroy all the bookcases and will fail the mission failing the mission doesn't usually happen in this unless you actively let it happen although sometimes they can come down to rng like on polis masa which i'm gonna try to make sure it doesn't happen on polis masa if it does then uh that would be very embarrassing wow oh i'm actually out of ammo that's bad that's actually really bad. I can't, I can't, this is like the most eerie, it's like a horror game right now. Like, you hear just like really ambient music and like, and like, <laughs> I'm like playing, that's so weird. That is actually kind of scary. Like, cause the music, like it's, it's maybe, maybe harder to hear on the stream because um, the, the game audio might be lower for you, but for me, it's like this really ambient, like, kind of sinister music, and, like, I'm just kind of, oh, I can't describe it, it's weird. So I'm like this, I, I'll try setting it for infinite one more time. Got it. Nice. Horror Star Wars games. Yeah, like, it could work, but not for, like, Battlefront, but, yeah. Rumored to contain the sum of Sith and Jedi knowledge. The first one is located on the common. Right, so that was a good run. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so we just canceled my infinite. Uh, didn't kill me, thankfully. But, and I got a stamina uh, drop right there. The, if you couldn't tell, the, the, the enemies or even allies drop like, up, or drop like health and ammo and stuff. So, you would want to get those whenever needed. Um... So like yeah, right there I needed stamina, so I picked up the stamina. And you can pick up like health and whatever else you need. I really don't know what's causing this to happen. I don't really want to go into my options and fix it though, because that loses time. All right, so you just kill those three Jedi masters. The mission's over now, but I'm gonna kill some Jedi because I I feel like it helps the victory screen come up faster. So. The battle speech still plays. Okay, that was bad because they like when when there's any speech going on, whether it's like a hero speech or that, it will actually lose. It will actually will make the victory screen be delayed, which is in my wholesome glitchless marathon. <laughs> Whoops. Welcome to the capital city of Thebes. Okay, it happened again. It's just gonna happen for the rest of the run, I feel. Well, guys, we're playing some silent Battlefront two. I'm very sorry about this, or maybe I'm not. Maybe I intended for this to happen all the time. So yeah, as you saw there, the beam rifle there, it can like, it can do collaterals. The, the normal sniper cannot, so that's good. And as you see, now we're playing as the Empire. We've switched arrows from Clone Wars to Galactic Civil War. And this is one of the fastest characters in the game that's not a Jedi. Uh, it's definitely the Dark, dark Trooper. Not really because of his movement speed, but because of his uh, his his actual jump pack. Wholesome <laughs> glitches. Star Wars Silent Hill Edition. Oh, that, actually, that's what it reminded me of with all the silence. Okay, so just kind of going to take this command post. As you see, the jump pack is very broken. It's very fast. 
lets us fly through levels. And you can, like, there's this weird movement tech that I don't believe is really, like, completely useful. It saves maybe, like, frames, but, like, you'll kind of see me do it throughout. Whenever I press space, right when I land on the ground, it'll actually, like, boost me forward a little bit and put me in an animation. So that's kind of useful. Like I said, it's not, like, completely needed. But it is a cool little trick. I guess, to be a little bit faster. So we're capturing, it's like a third command post. We've done nothing but capture command post this whole mission. I just realized how weird that is. Oh, he's contesting, it's annoying. Okay. Now we're going to set up, we're gonna jump pack up here, destroy, throw a grenade to destroy something, then set up a couple other grenades. Now we must destroy the auto turret grid console, clearing access to the central plaza. Destroy it. Oh, and I threw a grenade way too early. I'm gonna play this a little bit safe. I'm gonna, like, throw grenades, try to, like, get them grouped up. It's not gonna work, though. In fact, I'm about to die. I died to some random rebel guy. Okay, that's fine. That was an example of, I guess, using the using that movement trick to an for my advantage. Alright, now the queen spawns after you destroy that wave of Jedi, so we have to kill the queen. Oh, I tried to get a combo on her, but my pistol had no uh, ammo. That was bad. Whatever. I'm just gonna let myself die, so the victory comes up faster. Okay. I, I died and that lost dying in this game loses the most time out of anything but other than that it was pretty good now this level has a cool trick at the beginning we'll see if I hit it it's called stinger jump it lets us skip a little bit All right, troops. Today we stamp out final remnants of Aww, the I hit it Eventually we'll be blowing up you're supposed to jump into that window I won't try it again because if I do it again I may end up like losing too much time take control of the lava observation so yeah, it, it's it's a smaller time save, but it is a, it's one of the cooler looking things in the game. Oh my god, okay, that's actually really bad. Um, yeah, magna guards can be really annoying enemies too. Speak of them. Can I? Is this door open yet? It's not. That's bad. It's, sometimes it just opens randomly. Okay, I got an infinite infinite sprint, and I just ruined it. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is one of my worst Mustafars I've ever had. You just kind of want to run through enemies in this game. Oh, it doesn't sound right at all. It doesn't sound right at all without the gun sound effects. It's like, it's actually really, really scary. Um, but yeah, I, I screwed up the beginning of that level a lot. The stinger jump, it skips like maybe two or three seconds of having to run walk around the normal way. It's really not that hard. I made it look way harder than it really is. It's really just a... You just gotta like get a setup that works for you. I just kind of change my setup all the time. That's why I'm so inconsistent at it. <laughs> but yeah also when I get into the marathon to show it off but it's all good so this part we just captured us there's supposed to be snipers up here to kill us but they're really bad at doing that because they like never even look down here if you stand in this spot they like never even hit you so that's kind of funny whoa that was, a, that was an ally it wouldn't have killed me if it hit me <laughs> that's, that was, that was that weird like alright of course, what we gotta do? Capture another command post. Is this Star Wars Battlefront 2? Yes. Oh. Now this part can be really scary because um, if you're on, especially if you're on PB pace, which I don't believe I am anymore. Um, but like, any everyone here can like, if you get certain enemies here that can one shot you, it's really scary. Especially engineers. Engineers are the worst. Because engineers, the shotgun people, I mean, they, they can just, it's like just super easy for them to just look at you and kill you. So we're going to have to destroy these pr schematics. I need to get more uh, grenades from that ammo droid. And I'm going to jump back over here and get that last grenade to kill that. And then get this uh, beacon. One of our boys got killed bringing the other beacon. Because they're well, the whole point of this mission, and I'm not really explaining what like we're doing in these missions, because it's kind of just something you have to figure out when you're playing the game for yourself. But it's kind of self-explanatory. 
So, um, in the story here, uh, some, some Geonosians actually made this new droid army, uh, after the clone, after the Clone Wars it, it disappeared, but they brought it back. So, we're destroying it, pretty much, right now. Oh, I need, I need some mines for this fast strat. I'm gonna try to get a quick kill on the quote-unquote boss of this level. We'll see, he spawns right there, then I throw a mine down, he should walk into it. Nice! I believe that was him. That was him, right? It was! Woo! That was a really slow death on his part, though, which sucks. Okay. So yeah, mines are really overpowered in this game, because they just one-shot literally anything. It's pretty ridiculous. Not not everything, but most things. This level we're gonna spawn in and switch immediately to Boba Fett, because you get him as soon as you start the mission. Boba Fett is slightly faster than a sniper class, and he has the jump the jetpack, which lets him go even faster and cut like corners and stuff. And he has these uh, depth packs, which are also pretty powerful explosives. You can just they're like kind of like C4, but you can just like and it just does a lot of damage. It'll be particularly useful later on. Okay, that's bad. I didn't expect to get sniped so early. I was gonna go for an infinite sprint strat, but apparently everyone just wants to hit me, so I'm gonna have to get my health back. This is bad. Okay, I don't I don't wanna lose Boba Fett. I'll I, I will get him back really fast if I lose him, but I wouldn't wanna lose him in the first place anyway, it loses a lot of time. So I have to play a little bit safe, but I'm doing it for the marathon. I got the infinite sprint, nice. It is a little bit harder than it looks to get that timing down. And I, like I said, it's only like two frames or so, maybe four. Alright, get this CP. So yeah, last time the, the droids came back, now the clones are coming back. Alright, I may have to like go into the options and try to figure this out. I don't know why this sound effect thing is happening. If anyone's like really bothered by this and wants me to actually like look at uh, at a solution, then I will. But like, I mean, I, I can play without it. I can play without the gun sound effects just to keep the to keep the run going. Okay, I didn't get a good jump, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit safe here. So now we have to go in here and destroy life support uh, consoles for the clones, because you know we don't want any more clones. Depth packs destroy them in one hit. That's why Boba Fett's so useful in this level. You could do this level pretty quickly uh, with other like normal uh, like units, but these depth packs on this part just seal the deal for why you would do use Boba Fett. So we kill ourselves with that one, so we can warp to a command post, and we're going to be the rocket dude because we need to destroy these gunships. And that gunship took a lot of damage already. I don't know why that is. That's wait, wait what? That I guess that's just RNG. I got lucky and it took damage before. Oh, that's bad. I missed. So yeah, you see me switch or going to the command post and then picking the guy again. That's because uh, that actually reloads your gun way quicker than normal. And that's yeah, that level. Very nice. Moving on to Death Star. This one is. There's an auto scroller at the beginning, and then it gets pretty hectic. There's some. There's like a one hard part of this level. It's actually pretty easy. Attention, hangar 84G. Oh, this level's gonna be the there weirdest without gun sound effects, because there's a lot of these weird sound or like weird sound bites that are gonna be playing. Join up with the squad mates in the hangar and quell this riot. Rebel forces are converging on hangar 84G. See, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of kill uh, rebels at the beginning here. So, uh, FaZe Clan, if you want to hit me up, I got some. I'm going to show you my dink shots. All we have to do is just defend this command post. Although, this level does introduce us to one of the scarier enemies in the game, the Wookiees. Because they have a lot of health, and they can one-shot you just like a uh, engineer class can. I don't know how. The Bowcaster is just a ridiculous weapon. But yeah, they're really scary. You don't want to see a Wookiee in this run. In, in your face, at least. You can see him from far away, that's fine. But if you do see him up close, you just got to pray that he uh, 
pulls out his recon droid because when they do that they can't they can't do anything else but use the recon droid uh, so that's just like a free kill yeah, I'm not gonna lie I really hate playing a game like this this is it's supposed to be way more way more laser sound effects I swear and this is just this is uncanny Maybe if I go into options and like audio. No, it didn't. It didn't fix anything. I could probably. Re I want to reset to default, so I would change all my audio. We'll just leave it as is. It's fine. So we're gonna go, we have to capture a command post right over here for the next objective, so we're gonna try to set up over there real quick. Oh, that's a Wookiee, like I said. Don't try to fight, it. like even even that, even, see how far away he is and he's still doing that much damage to me per shot, like that's just, that's just a taste of his power. Hangar 84G is secure. The riot originated in cell block that was embarrassing. Okay. Get up there and secure that cell block. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't want that to happen. If it comes to it, I'll have to switch to an engineer and heal myself up really quick. Oh god, this is scary. This is really scary. Nice. Okay. So yeah, we killed that guy before. He's supposed to have the the plans. Oh, scary. <laughs> he was supposed to have those plans and run away with them, but we can just kind of kill him before he even grabs them. And before the objectives actually start, so then that'll just let us easily um, do that. So I'm going to give myself some health because we have to play as a dark trooper for this next part. And I, dark troopers are very weak, kind of like snipers. They're very they don't have a lot of health, so you can't like you can't go all guns blazing. And there's a Wookiee, which is really scary. Okay, he's dead. And there's a shotgun guy. He's also dead. That was close. That could have like actually been really bad if I let them stay alive for too long. Because one lucky shot from them and they will easily kill you. Okay. That went pretty well. There's usually, there can be like a lot of people swarming the objective and trying to like take it back from you. So I got pretty lucky right there. There's a lot of people coming around this corner and it's a Wookiee, but he didn't shoot me, it's good. Sometimes they'll like just, they have like really quick reflexes and they'll just shoot you immediately as, as soon as they see you. And it's just, it's really frustrating. So there's nothing you can really do about it. Whoops, all right. I'm gonna try to switch to, I'm gonna try to do this without dying. Uh, I don't know how this will go. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I missed completely. Um, okay, I'll just rocket it to death. That's fine. I could do another mine, but that may not be very optimal. Oh, that's, this is this is less optimal. Um, this is bad. All right, we'll be able to destroy it. I, I don't want to like go back up and try to remine. I don't know why. That would have been probably faster. Please tell me he runs into it. <laughs> okay, that was good. Anyway, the the rebel ran into it for him and it still killed him. <laughs> okay, that's funny. See, as you can tell, we just want to mine everyone we can to kill them quickly because it's insta kill pretty much. All right. Moving on to the worst level, one of the worst levels in this part of the game, Polis Masa. Because uh, there's a strat we do here, and it kind of relies on RNG. But I'm going to try to make it rely on less RNG. All right, man. Lord Vader wants this I've done this, I've done it like this hundreds now, of times, and it's worked every time, so hopefully it doesn't fail me line. now. Although a lot of things have failed me now this run, apparently, like uh, my sound. <laughs> okay, that's a shotgun guy. I was going to ride that infinite sprint all the way in there, but the shotgun guy was scaring me a little bit and this, this will keep scaring me too okay forget it we'll try we'll try some risky stuff today just kind of roll in there 
rolling in this game you're just rolling around and like shooting people is really like it's it's really if you know how to do it properly and like kite people around it's pretty ridiculous what you can do especially with these really powerful weapons you can just wipe whole teams in a matter of moments this next objective can be kind of trolly we'll see how it treats me today nicely executed because RNG now can play a little bit of a factor. On on I'm not going to get the infinite sprint. I'll just leave it. Right. It's fine. Along the way, we'll find so we have to get this thing, but there are like literally ha like almost hundreds of people guarding it, it feels. So we'll see how this treats me. Uh, okay, that's good. That's perfect. And we got the infinite sprint to top it off. Be a sniper without having to use a sniper rifle. <laughs> Oh yeah, you don't you you never like use primary weapons in this run almost. It's like always using the pistol. The pistol's so strong, it's ridiculous. It'll take time to realize like even as I'm playing the rocket launcher guy, I'm still gonna use uh, this. His award weapon's actually pretty useless. A guided rocket. It's only useful in like a couple situations in the game, but really, and like especially in this campaign mode, like it's completely useless. All right, so this part there's another auto score, but we can do this setup, and we're gonna do this setup. Hopefully, it'll work. Um, but it kind of, sometimes the enemies can just like uh, completely, uh, avoid my, uh, my safe, my, uh, fail safes and they can just like kind of ruin my run by making me fail the mission. So we'll see how this goes. I may end up waiting a little bit longer than I should just so I can ensure that it doesn't happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to defend this for a little bit as intended and we're actually going to put mines around the entrances of this command post because if we let the command post get captured it's it's game over um so we're going to try to mine up the entrances and then we're going to go to where the next objective is set a debt pack as an engineer and then we're going to set up at the the final objective to kind of get that going so it's, it's like this you'll kind of see it. it'll make more sense when it actually happens oh i should be setting mines now whoops I should still be able to make it on time, though. Maybe just barely, but it'll still happen. Respawning, I believe, is a little bit safer. A little bit faster, maybe. Just spawn right in the hangar. We didn't get a good spawn, but it's all good. And hopefully they're not capturing the objective. They actually are. That is bad. Hopefully they kill him. Okay, no, he's just going to leave. That's good. Whew, I was about to be really infuriated if he captured that, but he didn't, so we're good. Now we just gotta hope we don't get cooked by a Wookiee, and there's no Wookiees, no enemies at all. Very nice. We're gonna try to respawn at the hangar, and then that'll let us uh, kind of set up for the final objective. The Alright, good. There's no enemies on the uh, command post. That's really good. So the command post, this command post is automatically captured for the final objective. We have to recapture it. And you saw we set the debt pack there, so as soon as it, that auto score ended, we could just destroy it from over here. It's a it's a really cool strat. It's one of the core strats in this run. So you stay on the stay on the command post. Keep capturing it. Nice. Our raid is a success. That was the very good ending to Pulse Masa. <coughs> Excuse me. That was really good. Okay, three more missions. Ten of four. This is actually one of the fastest in the game. Like, without a doubt. It's a very small map, so naturally it would have to be fast. Kappa. It's actually very... It can be very trolly. Almost more trolly than... Uh, Polis Masa, because there can be a bunch of enemies coming through here, and they can all kill me pretty quickly if I'm not on my A game, so we'll see how this goes. No one else is coming in here? That's actually really good. Just gotta capture this first, and we're gonna do this. We're in this you're supposed to, I guess you're kind of supposed to destroy these next, this next objective, these terminals as Vader. We can kind of just do it as a, as a scout trooper because our overpowered pistol. As you can see, they go down really fast. We'll need to take out the security mainframes on the bridge before we can gain access to the rest of the ship. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. So then we actually warp here as Vader. And we're going to end the mission as Vader, so... 
come up here. That's kind of a weird jump, but once you learn it, it's pretty easy. I was gonna try to get an infinite sprint. If you get an infinite sprint here as Vader, you just go flying through the level. It's honestly the most satisfying thing in the game. But I can't get it because I'm bad. Right, get that. Nice work. Now let's clear those rebels out of the escape pod bays and secure the rest of the ship. Princess Leia must be captured before she can escape. The day is ours. Well done, gentlemen. The Imperial Senate will not sit still for this. Oh. Princess Leia used a voice line. I've I've not heard that one before at all. Okay. Yavin 4, the penultimate mission here. Uh, this one can be trolly. All these final missions can be trolly. That's a theme that has been recurring, I guess. Okay, you all know the mission. Uh, this one is just easy to die on. Because Wookiees, of course. And there's just a lot of enemies around the command post. And the FIWA. There's a lot of enemies here, I mean. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm already about to die, and I haven't even, like, really done anything. Although I kind of just clutched it. Maybe that's a health pack. Nice. Oh, and I'm about to die again. <laughs> uh, I'll probably end up dying on my way to second command post, but it's all good. It really doesn't matter. I don't believe this runs with PB anyway, just because of how bad Mustafar was. Was it Mustafar? I don't remember what level it was that I got died a lot on, but yeah. Whichever level it was. N Naboo actually was the level. Mustafar went alright, as far as I remember. The so snipers. Snipers really show their, not all, not only on this level, on the next level as well, the final level, Hoth, uh, snipers can be a, just total douches, so we'll hope they aren't. Sometimes you get really good command posts on these levels, like sometimes no one contests at all, like what happened on Tandem Ford, and sometimes you have like this where they contest for like a while. It's all RNG. Nicely That's done. the thing about this game. Now rush the reflecting pool. You just gotta, gotta be able to put up with RNG, react to it, and try to make it turn it to your, to your favor. I ran out of ammo for my pistol. That happens a lot, because you use your pistol. That's like the only weapon you use in this game, so you're gonna run out of ammo for it a lot. This kinda sucks. Someone's over here? Oh, that's bad. Okay, we're good. Wookiees, like I said, they're very scary. Very scary enemies. Not only just because they're Wookiees, but just because they one-shot you. Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. So yeah, once a command post, uh, as soon as it gets captured, it still has to, there's this mechanic called hard capturing, where the command post, you still have to stay at the command post for a while, and actually, like, kind of capture it again in, a, like, a hidden counter. You saw on the right how, like, every time I capture a command post, there's, a, like, a meter that shows it. So yeah, once I, so that, the reason that it went neutral as soon as that guy walked up is because it wasn't hard captured. So yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of how it works. It's, it's a little weird. When you're playing the game, you don't know that mechanic exists. You're like, how did that happen? I just captured it. But yeah, that's because it's a hidden mechanic. Kind of used for balancing purposes, I guess. So auto scroller, we're just going to hang out here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this ambient Star Wars experience. I sure have. It's been very surreal. The whole time I've just been like listening to like I've been, I'm listening to forest sounds right now instead of gunfire. I'm so used to hearing like tank missiles whirring past me or whizzing past me and stuff and just pistols firing everywhere, grenades exploding, but instead I'm just hearing the the sounds of the wilderness. And it's that's honestly just very it's very like it's very serene, like oddly, it's oddly satisfying doing this all while listening to stuff like that. Alright, I need to set up for the next objective, hopefully we don't get captured, uh, I believe we'll be okay. Just gonna check the map for safety, they're all pretty preoccupied with other things, so we should be good. Yeah, we're gonna be good. Yeah, it's like there's not even a battle going on. It's like we're just kind of doing a nature walk through uh, Yavin. There's not even like a war going on. That's exactly right. Alright, so I'm gonna get out of that real quick. Hop up here. This is where our next thing is. Die. <laughs> Alright, we can actually use this bomb in a sense. We can like use it while we're in the tank. It's really weird. So I can like drive up to the door and it'll place the bomb 
and I can just kind of hold W against the door and it won't blow up my tank. It says you have to run away, but you don't have to when you're in a tank, so we're gonna like time this so we can sprint through and then jump back up and we're in the little boss battle of this area. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, it's good. Kill ourselves. And that's going to be it for Yavin. Very nice. So that's going to open up Hoth, the final mission of the game. And it is ironically, well not ironically, it's fittingly the hardest and most trolling mission of the entire game. So I'm going to do a little bit of a safe strike here, destroy these turrets before I even walk up there. I could still die really easily up there, but doing the killing the turrets will make it a little bit easier on me. And no reason this is so hard is because of these snipers. Very annoying enemies. Especially on this map where it's a literal, like, waste, not waste time, just like a literal, like, field. Like, see, it's looking, she's looking at me like she really wants to snipe me. And yes, it's a she. The, the 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 snipers are females. The rebel snipers are females, not the not the not the empire snipers. Okay, so like I don't want to go up there because I'm really okay. Now I'm not low on health, so now I can go up there. But this guy is looking like he wants to kill me. Let's see, it's not gonna happen. There you go. We should be good now. We're in a pretty good position. It's just a bunch of weeding out the enemies until you get an opening. Oh, what? Who just hit me? from where? That was weird. I don't know where that sniper shot came from. Alright, so that was already, that, if that wasn't bad enough, we still have this part where we have to go all the way over there without getting sniped. And usually I don't get sniped, but today is going to be looking like a different day because I just got shot once. Um, okay, I need this health pickup. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take that stamina too. Alright, this is looking good. I can just jump back in there. Once I get into the bunker, uh, we should be safe. I don't want to be in the bunker. I want to be like on this wall because I can like kill the enemies that are hitting me from my blind spot over here. And all the people in front of me on the turrets and stuff cannot hit me at all. It's a perfect spot. Works most of the time for me. Unless I get sniped, which doesn't usually happen. <laughs> so... That was perfect. Uh, I was afraid I wouldn't do it. I wasn't doing it at a bad time. Um, okay, now add at RNG is bad. Actually, this one is probably the better one to spawn at. Yeah, so we have to destroy the shield generator with the add at. And this is terrible. This is really bad. Okay, so they weren't... It's really RNG where they're going to be uh, by this point in the mission. And... They chose to be at a terrible spot for me. I can barely hit the shield generator. I had to move over, and that lost a lot of time in and of itself. So honestly, just because of like that alone, that may have like killed any chance this may have had the PB, which is really unfortunate. But Hoth is the run killer. It is well known for being run killer, or a run killer, in this game. It's terrible. If you ever run this game, you'll learn to hate Hoth just as much as anyone else does. Okay, hopefully we get a Tauntaun spawn. And that rhyme, that was funny. Okay. And we did, but it's all the way over here. Oh no, there's one right there. Oh, this is bad. It could, they could kill it. Oh, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Now what's supposed to happen here is it's supposed to be a faster way to get to the hangar, but I kind of just made that seem null and void. Also, they may kill it. Okay, I'm about to jump pack off. Smooth entrance. I just killed it. Feels bad, man. I didn't save the animals that time. Like Alright, this command post is going to get captured, and then... We're almost done. This is we're pretty much near the tail end of the game right here. So... Gonna run through the tunnels real quick. Whoops. Alright, I got the infinite sprint right there. That's alright. I wanted it earlier, but having it right there is good. Oh, I got another one. This is what I call the Kraygasm Hoth tunnels because it looks like really smooth and fast. That, that was pretty good. I'll take that. That looked nice. 
Oh, that's her right there. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Yeah, they might get on to me for that, uh, for that killing I did there, but it was all for the greater good of the Empire, so they better, they better not care too much about it. Okay, so we're gonna capture this CP, try to set up for this, and that was actually perfect. Like, that's gonna be perfect positioning. Oh, I didn't get the infinite sprint, though. I could have gotten it, but I didn't. Okay. So, anticlimactically, the game ends on a, uh, another scroller, which is kind of annoying. So I'd like to take this time to shout out uh, well, Midwest Speedfest for allowing me to run this game uh, in the marathon. Um, I really like to show this game off to people. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a weird speed game for sure because it's Battlefront. But it does kind of have some cool little optimizations and setups, and people just are blowing themselves up left and right. It's a fun day. Um, but yeah, if you, it, it's it's a fun nostalgic experience if you like haven't played this game in a while, and it's kind of a cool speed game. Uh, they really just test your patience with RNG, but there's some execution stuff here as well. So if you'd like to give it a go, uh, there's a Star Wars speedruns Discord. Um, there's a few of us in the community that would love to help you uh, with any strats you may need help with. Um, particularly, uh, I would love to. Um, Darklight Boko, who is a one of the like original, I believe, renders of the game. Uh, he's he's very nice and uh, would love to help you. And Leko, the world record holder. Um, so, uh, time's gonna end right when victory comes up. Sorry, I was a little late on saying that. As soon as victory comes up, time ends. And it takes a while time. It's it's weird. Sometimes it like, sometimes it comes up fast. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what makes it come up fast on Hoth. I don't believe respawning even does. Okay. So that was Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, on PC. So like I said, thank you so much for letting me run the game. And um, I believe next we have. Uh, VGM running Rabby Ribby, so be sure to stay tuned for that and all the other runners for days two and three. There's some really good runs coming up uh, for the rest of the marathon, and I would highly encourage you to check them out and donate to the cause for save. So thank you so much for letting me run, and I'm out.